Welcome back to HubSpot with Paragon. I'm Davey and I'm going to walk you through tasks today. So we're actually in the contact record for Peter Jenkins here, a little test guy. And we have two options. We have a task here, which when hovered over will allow me to create a task. Over here as well, um, you have the same option underneath task to be able to create a task. So I can use either place here or here to create a task when I'm on the contact record. So I'm going to go ahead and click task over here, create my task. I have a task that's created. That's my task to do. I'll add in a few other items here. So I've kind of added in just a few notes here. And if you'll notice, I've got my task to do. Let's get this done. It's going to be due in three days. So it's going to create the task now and it's going to remind me at 8 a.m. And I can change that to a different day um, for when it's due. I also have, that's when the task becomes uh, available, or when it's due. I can have a reminder email sent to me, though, um, the day of at 8 a.m., or maybe a day before, or no reminder at all, or a custom date. I can even add it to a task queue, which I don't have any created right now, but that just puts it into a grouping of maybe certain tasks I want to reach out to. Who it's assigned to, I can change the assignment. You can only assign to one person. There are some betas that are out there now that allow you to um, see multiple queues, um, but the assignment is still one person. Then there's a priority option. I can make it none or high. When you do high, it just allows for sorting and filtering in your task list to be able to work with this. And then you can do a type. What's really cool about this is that you'll notice it says call, email, and to do. Those are the three options. If you mark in here a different item, and let's say I put call in here, it will actually update the type to call. So whatever you put in for the title listed, it'll actually update the type to. So if I just put a regular to-do item, it'll leave it. If I say email Billy, this call type will automatically change the email. It's one of the cool AI features that a lot of people miss in here. One of the other most important items is what this is related to. So if I, right now, it'll automatically associate with the company that Peter is connected with. But if maybe this was for a deal that I was working on at the same time, or if there was another contact that was maybe associated with this task, I can add in another contact um, directly from here and put in Janet Johnson if I wanted to. And now it's associated with three records. That means that this will show up on Janet Johnson and on Peter Jenkins for tasks that need to be completed. So on either one, I'll be working on this task and it will show the related records and pull up both of them. So that's how to create that task. I'm now going to save it. And I've got my task in there. Notice that the task stays up at the top. Um, and I'm looking directly at tasks. So if I look at all activities, it'll still show up top because it is an upcoming event in three days. Now, if I want to work on my task, I can come over and uh, pull it up out of sales and go to my task list. But let's look at some other options for creating tasks. You can also create tasks directly from contacts. So I'm in the new beta uh, table that's out there right now. If I wanted to go to the old one, it's just the old view for contacts. This just allows for easier pinning of tabs, the lists that you're working with. I can click on, I click on a person here and I can create a task directly from here. It pops on the right and I go through the same scenario. Task four and the contact name, to do, what the priority is, who it's assigned to, if it's in a queue, when it's due, and if I want to send a reminder, at what's, when do I want to do it, the day before. So a couple more little options here very quick. Create that, task is created. I can also do it in bulk by selecting everyone and creating a task for 50 contacts and create the same task. So if you've got new leads that are in here, you want to create a new task for what they need to do, this is a great way to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, look forward to uh, the next video that you guys watch of mine and uh, hearing from your comments. And if you have any questions, please reach out to Paragon. We'd love to help you with, with HubSpot.